Here we have another problem uh, involving exterior angles. But this one is a little different. I'm solving for two unknowns. I have this x, this angle x, and this angle y. And I want to know what they are. The first thing I have to look at is this notation here. This tells me that these two sides are the same. So it's an isosceles triangle. This is an isosceles triangle. Therefore, since these two sides are the same, I know that these two base angles are the same, and they are value y. Now, what I can look at is these two angles here are supplementary. I know that they are supplementary, which means they add up to 180. So solving for y, I can say 180 minus 108, this is 108, leaves me with 72. Therefore, I know that y equals 72 degrees. Now, again, I have to be careful. I have 72 for this y and for this y. So these two base angles are 72 plus 72, which leaves me with 144. So what does that leave me for my x? I have now the total triangle adds up to 180. So I have 180 minus my 144, and that's going to leave me with 36. So x, my last angle, is going to be 36 degrees. We have to be careful that we know that we're doubling these two up. It gives me 144. My total triangle is 180, so that I'm left with 36 degrees for x. So using a lot of different things here, I'm understanding the difference or the definition of isosceles triangles, that since these sides are congruent, I know that these base angles are congruent. I know that these two angles are supplementary and that these two y's are then also the same, which is 72 degrees. So we're starting to really see how we're combining a lot of different information to solve one problem.